so we have done the three kinds of we have done the three kinds of crystalline solids the fourth one is the covalent or network solids okay <coughs> now what happens these are the solids formed due to covalent bonds throughout the throughout the <coughs> throughout the space the covalent bonds are strong and at times directional in nature so <coughs> so covalent bonds are strong bonds and hence these molecules are called called giant molecules okay called giant molecules so they are one whole okay so you pick it at one end the whole thing is is like a like a single single entity okay so they are called giant molecules <coughs> example example diamond second silicon carbide silicon and and due to this the covalent nature of the bonds the characteristics are characteristics are what do you think the characteristics would be what would be the characteristic they have to be extremely hard okay so diamond is the hardest okay so they have to be extremely hard extremely hard and strong hmm they have to be insulators right so they are insulators correct so they are insulators very high extremely high melting point extremely high melting point so much so that okay many a times they decompose bef before melting diamond hmm we we have seen rocks and they seem to be very very strong but you must be aware that we used diamond tip tools to cut the rock okay so so below that obviously they are not kind of the diamonds that we use as solitaires or something they crude diamonds okay but then there is a there is a layer of that diamond over the tool bed and it keeps on cutting the cutting the earth right the rocks the hard rocks also many a times you will find for cutting very hard metals or certain alloys that are very very hard we use diamond tipped tools and you have to give in the specification that the tool has to be tipped with diamond 
should look like any ordinary tool but but the moment you 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 just put it onto the lathe or somewhere wherever you are cutting it will immediately understand because if it is not diamond tipped then it simply break it will simply break or for example um, the diamond tip is cutting some 20 jobs it is doing 20 jobs for you this will not be able to do even one job okay so you have to be very particular and and the mo moment they are diamond tipped they become very costly okay but you, sh you should not be under under an imagination that there is kind of uh, a shiny diamond at the tip of it and someone can cut it and run away no it just looks like iron but it is layered with diamond okay <coughs> extremely high melting points so so much so that they may decompose what will happen if you burn diamond any idea hmm? it's the, it's one of the purest forms of carbon so just burn and give you co2 gas nothing else okay nothing else you just burn like coal okay and does and it does okay now you have a wonder thing called graphite right graphite these are allotropes of carbon. How many allotropes of carbon do you know? Three. Which? Diamond. Diamond. Graphite. Fullerene. Buckminster Fullerene. Fullerene. You should also know this graphene. Okay, carbon spreads like a sheet as well. Okay, that means okay for this they were awarded a Nobel Prize some five years ago. Okay, what does it mean? It means you'll understand. So what happens to graphite? Graphite is bonded to three other molecules. So it starts forming a hexagonal sort of structure, right? So this, I this, okay, this, this, and this. Okay, so you are you are you're looking like this. So so it's a hexagon that is. on this way okay so 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 make this smaller and this there this and this and okay so it goes like that so this is longer this is shorter this goes like this goes like this okay so it's like this these are all this the, the these are all all carbon molecules so what happens one is bonded to three what happens in the diamond how is diamond this is diamond right tetrahedral and there's another here so, so maybe something like this there's another there okay so all get bonded okay since since one is getting bonded to four and the valency of carbon is four so no electron is left for a, for a diamond structure so, so it's kind of this and yeah, uh, or or maybe I should I should I should do this. 
okay and maybe one of them is like that like that so what happens everything is getting bonded to everything else so that you have got no electron that will move that's why there are such bad conductors of electricity now now comes this and, and it may be strange for so many reasons and it is but it is a boon I am telling you in the industry you cannot imagine an industry functioning without graphite okay what is the beauty that it gets bonded to three other in a manner of a sheet and the fourth one the fourth ones they they start getting connected like this so sort of this 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 Now what happens? This, this molecule, no. So maybe this molecule that you have, that gets bonded to this. The, the electron, that gets connected like this. And this, this also has something like this. This. You understand? So there is a one to one correspondence between the bondings. This this gets bonded to this. And what is this? No. This should get bonded to this while no. Uh -huh. This gets bonded to this while this gets bonded to this. You see? You see all those? Getting connected? Because each carbon leaves an electron. Now these electrons, since they are far away, they are not able to bond properly. So, but still they are strong enough to hold themselves as sheets. Now that is the whole beauty. So, so there is a sheet of graphite, of carbon molecules, and there is another sheet, and there is another sheet, and they are able to glide over each other. Okay. So the sheets of, so the sheets are able to glide over glide over each other each other and then that gives you a marvelous thing what what does it tell you hmm? the first thing is over each other but but even more important than that the Number one, what is the number one property? The first is that it is slippery. It is slippery and acts as a lubricant.
था और ये मैं छोड़ के चला गया था 